Fantastic. All right, good afternoon, everybody, one and all. We're at the zoning citation hearings for February 23rd, 2022. We have five items on the agenda tonight, this afternoon, however you want to look at it. And first up, we have four France Street and seated at the table is the property owner. And Cindy, how do you want me to refer to you? I'm the property manager expediter. Perfect. Okay, so let me just move this out. That's the uh, just okay. Yep, yeah, that was let me introduce a, myself. You can do that. Since we're on the record, I'm attorney Gary Oberst. I'm your hearing officer today. To my right, representing the city of Norwalk is John Hayducky. And uh, you've introduced yourself, sir. Would you tell your name again? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, Alex Etamadfa. E T E M A D F A R. All right, there. All right there. The first name is easy, Alex. Okay, okay Alex, would you raise your right hand, please? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Thank you. And you are not testifying. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right. This one, we were is a is a repeat. Uh, we've seen this one before. Did our usual uh, continuation as uh, yeah, then we verified that there was a uh, violation on the property. And for those of us uh, playing along at home, we will, which is nobody at the moment, but we gotta go through it anyway. So they may want to see this later. Too. They may want to see it later. Yeah, I mean, so I mean Academy Awards. I mean, we're not exactly <laughs> on. Uh, we're not on Netflix top 10, I don't think. I did the search last night. So far, there. so far. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, so, you might hit with this one. You might, might get one here. So here's what we, so we verified the, basically on January 26th, we verified the violation and we made known that uh, the fine that could be placed is, is $1,050. Need a ZBA application by 223.22. That was our... That was our cure. That's what, well, not cure. There's still a long way to go to the cure, but this is the first step in the right direction. Uh, so you will feel free to humor me. Uh, on February 10th, I received a uh, email from Cindy, who's again here, uh, stating that there uh, she will drop off an application to us for the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, I was out of office, so my uh, colleague, Tammy Maldonado, Chief uh, Zoning Officer, uh, accepted my behalf. And so that's this here, if you want to the hearing officer. So based on that, because we were getting the application um, and that was a requirement of our previous, uh, our previous requirement, I sent a hearing notice to the owner of record. Alex here, and uh, that was sent by uh, Constable Bondi. Uh, as we gotta make sure he gets his uh, his share. There we go. And the entire Zoning Board of Appeals application is quite long, so I didn't scan it. But what I did was I gave what really matters. This is the application. Now this was dropped off to us on the I believe the. Ninth or 10th, um, it got buried with another item. So I panicked a little bit, but uh, finally received it and we got it. So they are good for uh, placement on the next Zoning Board of Appeals hearing. And here are the signatures on the bottom for the applicant and property owner, both of which here and there we go okay just as a reminder this was the violation i cruised by this morning just so i can say i was there there we go alex you got any objection to that no sir and so we're just looking to uh extend this to just tell me what the violation is again work without permits that whole structure oh, doesn't have any permits right. <laughs> and, it, and it is yeah. in a setback yeah. and last but not least it is oh, too hot so i actually got on there's a stop work order what happened to that that's that was placed by peter kelly yeah that's the building department correct oh. so that's the stop work order placed by the uh 
but a building department that's a separate path okay. uh, they do their own thing so okay uh, so we find it well, hold on oh. so tell me where you stand right now please. right now we are at what do you think we should be doing well at minimum we have a i'll start with the easy part we are um our the zoning board of appeals hearing is scheduled for march 17th we also have a hearing that uh the day prior as well um so i uh, i would for continuance purposes recommend the march 30th hearing to allow the zba process to be held on the 7th what has happened since then well the satisfied that they're doing what they can do or what? right they're doing what they can do for us i can't speak for anybody else but that's oh, why we're okay. here um so you know we just have to ensure that the work is obviously stopped on the property because the more that's done even though even though some work is not us the more that's done the more non-conformity is created so we have to make sure that that is making sure has there been yes. any work there was no actual work being done they were I think you were saying you were winterizing yes, the winterizing and they've been yeah. shoveling the snow. Shoveling in. The snow yeah. But they placed another stop work order. So there's a the total park. of three. Yeah. You have to shovel the snow. Uh, that's why I said but, building building apartments a different path. But, but again, they drove by and they saw someone with a shovel in their hand and they didn't want no one there. Yeah, so as far as we're concerned, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yes. At this point, correct. Excuse me, I'm asking. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no no no. Yeah yeah. It's so yeah. So, right. so, yeah, so um, I would. Uh, I'll, I would recommend the uh, that at least the fine that is possible be contingent on further have, progress. We have a fine in here. We do. Yes. And since nothing has made it worse, I don't see a reason to increase the fine. We could use it. Yep. That's my nice theory. Yes. Uh, is it contingent in trying to remember? I do not believe so. I think it was, the thing was uh, placed on there and we would address it later at the end of the, the end of all the All right, so we'll I'm see. not going to give you a chance to speak, but I'll just tell you right now my inclination is not to increase the fine and use the thousand and fifty dollars more and we'll address that in the future. And, uh, you are free to speak, but I would say if I were sitting in your spot, nothing you say is going to make any any better. You can only make it worse. Oh, you want me to say something? Yeah, you don't want it's to. It's up to you. Oh, if you want to say something, yeah. you can. The reason I thought uh, me and my cousin be on this place since 2020. You're going to have to talk louder. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't take the mic. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you got to keep it off for, oh, okay. for now. That may change next month. No problem. For now, yeah. I mean, we own this place. We bought this place in 2000, 2000 right. and the house was in fire. Everything they asked us, we did by court. We went forward. Mrs. Eileen was here, and you know, she's very solid on what she wants. And we worked with them. The reason I started this, because unfortunately, seven months ago, I lost my 20 years old son. I know this is a personal, but I couldn't even go to my house. He was. Destroyed. I, sure. I'll talk about it. I get motion, but I'm gonna do whatever it is to be to make it right. That's I wanna build it for myself. I didn't do to make money. I didn't do to rent it. I'm doing this for my own, and I can sign it to you guys. Swear to God. You're very, you're very out. So that's okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, like I said, nothing's changing today. We're continuing this. Let's see what happens. Right. So we'll see what happens at the ZBA here. And then we'll have to go from there at that point. Let's 
Two. What are we going to do next? We had, uh, let me get rid of this. Calendar lights, so I don't show up. <laughs> yeah, that would be, <laughs> that, that would be that, that's positive. Um, so we do have, let's just retrace one step. The ZBA hearing is on March 17th. The, the next set of hearings for us that we have here is the 30th after that. Thanks. Nice. March 30th. That is a good date for you guys. Oh, I'm giving you notice right now. You're not going to get anything in the mail. Okay. This is your notice. Much as we like constable bonding, we need to save some money. <laughs> okay. Very good. So that is it. That is for France Street, everybody. And let me. No, I don't want to stop recording. I want to pause it. Ah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to 41 Van Zandt Street. That's item number three on the agenda for those of us keeping track at home. And uh, there's a hearing officer, the property owner is here. So uh, take it away. Okay, Mr. Lemoud uh, Duarte, is that right? Yes, Lemus Duarte. Lemus Duarte, raise your right hand, please. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, I am attorney Gary Obers, I'm your hearing officer, and on my right is John Hayducky, the deputy zoning inspector. He's going to tell me why we're here and what we're doing, and then uh, you'll have a chance to speak. Okay, so we're doing, a, we'll start our share screen, something a little different at the uh, Mr. Hearing Officer's request. Show exactly where on, on Van Zandt Street this is. So this is, here's, here's Sweet Ashley's on uh -huh. uh, the corner of uh, East Avenue there. Yeah. Osborne is here. It's a few house, a few in from, um, from being, uh, from Osborne. And it's, uh, if you look from the street, there's a series of multifamily houses. Mm -hmm. uh, on the corner is a cook's print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And then the, uh, the big 25 Van Zandt buildings just right down the street. And you have a small series of multifamily, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And this is in the best. So this is the property in question. The violation is occurring at the rear. And we'll get a quick aerial photo here. I'm going to zip in a little bit. Violation is back. Yeah, come on. There we go. Is back in here. Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll bring up the presentation right here. Okay, so this is a brand new one. So we're gonna be starting from scratch. Okay. So as we used to get these, uh, this was found in the morning on November 8th, 2021, when we opened our door in the morning and we got a complaint that was stood under the door. That's this here. So now, obviously, we don't take. Very simple. Okay. Now, normally, I'd be, I would say that goes to the back of the pile, never to be touched because it's an anonymous complaint. However, there was a follow-up email right here. The forty-one Van Zant Street, from what I assume is a neighbor. Well, I don't do much digging on who these folks are, but. Uh, so here's a picture from the 70s. What was the saying? So uh, it, it was just is an attachment with pictures on it. Okay, let's see that. And these were the pictures. Oh yeah. From so, the other side. Yep, from the other side. That's the new structure. Um, I don't know why they doubled up, but those are attached there. Um, okay. There and there, and then last but not least, this here. This was uh, taken from. The street, if you remember the, yeah, the view from there, yeah. it's this guy back here. But now you have a person who's that's in it, yes, correct. Okay, so that brings us up, got in the pile. Yep, got it. There it is. And normally, we would build be on the very bottom of the pile, but okay. So, uh, here's the owners of record, and we have obviously we have uh, 
Darwin here. But uh, so here's the owner record 41 Van Zandt Street. These are the first two pages. Tax collector and tax. I'm looking at is on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can so this we do this so this way you can check what I'm saying to attorney owners here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's tax card. This is the tax assessor's card, 41 Van Zandt. Mm -hmm. And so the owner of record is again, it is uh is Darwin here, but we have a little bit of a history. We know each other for a bit. And I knew that his, even though this is where the tax bill was going, according to the records, I know he lives at 16 Devon. And I did, I printed this out to show that he's on both properties. Okay. So that is where we sent the notice to both properties. Okay. So we have the notice here uh, sent to the tax record, which is 41 Van Zandt Street, the right. tax bill record. And then on the second page, I have the address I happen to know he resides at. Okay. So we have a green card here signed for the notice. Right. And then we also, so we'll keep going with the housekeeping before we go into the nitty gritty of the. So that's the citation sent to the same two um, addresses. Yep. And we'll scoop by that one. There we go. And there's Constable Bondi's delivery. First, he went to 41 Van Zandt Street, as he's uh, supposed to, because that's the record uh, address but i also pulled it asked him to do me a big favor and also serve at 16 Devon. right okay. and he was more than happy because that's an extra 60 dollars for him and so there's his signature saying that he went to both and then as yesterday we got even though it's our favorite COVID 19 uh Signature. They're still using it. The, the, I can't believe they're still using that. But um, why not? They don't have to do anything. Yeah, why not? Exactly. So that's the housekeeping for our notice. Sir, you have any uh, questions or objections to anything you just showed? Yes. Uh, you guys sent me another letter before for this one? Right. The notice. This one was sent. I'll scroll up here. The initial notice, which was that's the green card. And this was the initial notice. Hang on, just being slow here. Sent on December 28th. Well, um, I don't have that notice. I just thought that one. All right, but you're, you're here, you've got notes. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, you're right, that's right, why right, I said your presence is right, but right, right, right. just good. So we're all set to hear what Mr. Hayduck has got to say about this. Yep. So housekeeping. Uh, housekeeping is is good. I'm gonna get better at it. Um, so and then I'll go back down towards the bottom here real quick. Uh, I'll give these hearing officer That's a lot here. Okay. So now we got the photos. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So this was our inspection that oh the inspection I did on uh, twelve twenty eight. December 28th. And there it is. This is the back of the property. So if you're looking down, this was uh if you're looking down the from the street. Um, I just pulled into the driveway. And uh there we go. And I took a look. Now I made a grand, a little bit of an assumption here. It's a three-unit building, and my guess is that this is storage for each three for each unit. Hey, every now and again I'm good. Not regular, but not often, but mm -hmm. And we also have a little parking in the front setback here, but in the grand scheme of things, and we know that is a violation, we are looking to uh, make sure that the structure is permitted. And I took this for safekeeping, a few ladders back there. Um, I moved those. Yeah, this thing is they're in parking spaces. Yes, so I'm glad, exactly. you, glad you moved those. Yes. Okay. Um, and the front one is not a parking. I just I normally put my I that one I believe yeah. is my car for sale. 
Oh, okay. I don't know if you saw the. I haven't. No, I didn't get sign. The, no, I didn't get the sign on that. But okay. but we can. That's what I said. That's minor. We got to get okay. the. Gotcha. We got to get the structure done. Right. First. Gotcha. And then this is just a follow up we did because uh, I just had a feeling that the structure was still there. I sent out my colleague Vincent um, to verify. Yep, it was uh, yeah. still there. Yeah, you see the, the ladders are going in that. Yeah, so that's a good thing. I put in my van. I see that. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the last thing I want to bring to the hearing officer's attention and put into the record is I'm going to stop sharing here. And I'm going to screen share this guy over here. So what this is, this is our uh, database for variances. So I'm going to go down real quick to Van Zant. There we go. There they are. So we have three variances. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because that means the property at one point went in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Now, for in normally, nine times out of 10, when there's work done on a property that went in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals, it has to go back. However, I had a quick conversation before our hearing, uh, before our hearing today with our chief officer, and her and I are in agreement because this is exterior and all of this was interior work, he does not have to go back to the Zoning Board of Appeals. They call a little bit of a break. <laughs> they don't have to do that. But he, we still need to resolve. We need a survey showing the. Why are we not on the record? Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are. Um, we need to have a uh, survey and a permit showing the new structure. We have to make sure that's not impeding on any required parking mm -hmm. or any setbacks. So he's got, that's his next step. Survey is the next so best he, step. All right, so he just started this without. This is without permits. So okay, storage, so storage shed without permits. So now he wants to get permits. Is it likely that he's going to get them? That's his call, but I just want to. Yeah, it's very, it's not, it, the, I'll put it this way. The likelihood of him having to remove it totally is very slim. Mm -hmm. In all likelihood, I think he may have to move it a little bit, but. I think I don't think you have to. You won't have to take it down. You just may have to move it a little bit. Okay, so uh, so we, uh, which way? And we'll figure that out when we get the survey. Oh, oh hang on. Hang on. Yep. So we are. Mr. Duffy is claiming you're in violation. Do you disagree with that? Say it again. Do you agree that you're in violation? Yes, I am. Okay, and you're going to take the next steps. The next step, yes. Okay, and you're going to get a survey and a permit. Survey, yes. I and will call you... the survey guy. In... Okay, and, and when are you going to be able to get back to me and tell me that this is happening? Uh, I'll come on. I, I just hear the, ma the the voice now. He said the survey guy. He's back the 4th of March, I believe. It's one a... of those days. So I have I'm to, in a good mood. I'll help him out. It's it's uh, Wayne Arkhamon, uh -huh. and I know for a fact that he is on vacation until March fourth. Oh, okay. So it's going to be at least until after that. And then he'll be backed up when he gets back. It will be a little bit. Yeah. You're talking about March thirtieth. You think that's? I think at least we can have. We'll at least know by March thirtieth. Oh yeah. About how long? If he he might already he might be able I to get think it that right away. Yeah, that's he the did yeah. My baby house, and he did it right away. Yeah. So, all right, so we're going to continue to March 30th, and you'll tell me what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you haven't done anything, that's one thing. Right. No, no, do, no, definitely. All I... you can do is all you can do. Okay. So I'm going to. So, a violation found. No fine at this time. Continued. Three thirty. Is that a date we have? Yep, see? yep. That's what we were doing for uh, yeah for that for France Street prior as well. Okay, so I, that's in my count. Yep, three thirty. No progress report. Okay. I'm giving notice right now, March thirtieth. Yes. Um, put you know, that on your phone. <laughs> no, I I got it in my mind. I, I don't, I don't, you're I don't, not going to get any other notice. I can't sleep. 
Okay. I can sleep. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. We'll, we'll, no. You can sleep for a little while. It's okay. You know, we're in, we're I, I don't there. know if he, I, this uh, this appointment I can make a question for another for another. Well, let me do this. Seeing as this is done, real quick, let me just, we are all set with forty one Van Zandt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to item number two, which is three Apple Tree Lane. Um, and the last time this was in front of us was in, I think, December, I want to say. Um, and just so the hearing officer is aware, the homeowner is not here. But as I go through my presentation, uh, I will give hopefully was a valid reason as to why he's not. And let's get the old share screen up here. There we go. Okay. So again, last time we're here, December 15th. Um, and the condition of that hearing was that by the 23rd, which is today, uh, they would need the owner would need to have pulled building permits in order to consider progress made and uh, to keep the wheels going without a fine. And so here was, here's the owner. Uh, he sent me an email on February 2nd wanting to meet um, to just basically go over things of what's needed. And basically at that meeting on the 4th, I just told him, you got to have the permits pulled with the building department and I need to have them in my hand by the 23rd to stay in good standing. So on February 14th, I was not here when he sent this email, but this email contained, with the exception of that first page with nothing on it, um, several building permits. And tell by the dates on many of these uh first one was the general building permit the uh which is the work permit is what they call call it it's uh january 6th so that was after our december hearing so we did we pulled that uh and then this one was his original permit he gave me that to show that he did have a permit to do the work i should have been specific on which one he wanted i wanted him to send but he sent both which is fine. And he has his electrical permit, which was pulled on February 7th. And he has his plumbing permit also pulled on February 7th. So the reason he's not here is he simply requested if he had to be here. I said, well, your item was continued to the 23rd. Uh, we'd like to keep it continued to keep the process going. And he said, that's fine. I did make the assertion to him that because he does have his permits, that uh, I would recommend that uh, no fine be issued or contingent or anything like that, uh, that we would simply just, lack of better terms, kick the can down the road. And that is what I am looking for. That's what I'm asking the hearing officer for, is just to continue this an appropriate amount of time just to allow the work to be done. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be done in three weeks because he does have to do a lot. But uh, then again, on the flip side, I think it to give it more than a couple of months would be a little much, so. Okay, we're gonna start out by finding $5,000 for not showing up today. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would say as, as the as the deputy zoning inspector, I would respectfully probably challenge that with our law department and say that uh, he doesn't have proper notice for that. So <laughs> I would go that way. Okay, so we're going to do what you said. Let's do a date. Uh, I don't know if I included one in the recommendation letter. I might. If I was smart, probably not. April fifteenth at a minimum. Yep, yeah, because that, I think I, that calculated out to eight weeks or. Six weeks or something like that. Discuss that with him? No, I just said we would continue it to time. I, he said, he basically said, as long as I can have more than a month. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, that's reasonable. I said that because he does have to do a lot of work, as I, as right, I said. So let's say April 15th, and you can do the same thing if everything's. Yeah. You don't have to have the guy come but, in and just tell me he's a good boy. But the 15th is a Friday. 
I can't have a Friday. I can't have a Friday. Friday. Uh, I, I just said I that. Friday. Tax days. Tax day was in my head. I guess I don't know why. Um, April. So what she said, man, April fifteenth is a Friday. So we'll do the following Wednesday, April twentieth. I don't think I have anything that week, so I won't. It would be the first one on there. So we, I don't even have it as scheduled. So I should put. This do we have anything in April? Put down. I just hold the, the date open. Oh, okay. I didn't put. It, I didn't say it's Friday. Then, you know what? We'll we'll make it official. Now they'll be he'll be the first one on for the twentieth. Uh, okay. So we got here's April twentieth. We're on. Okay. Well, right. let's make sure it's a short agenda. That's my dad's birthday, so I have to take nothing there. <laughs> okay, so we'll uh, make it short. <laughs> if it gets to to full down, yeah, no, no, I can. We can, we can spread the love you out. Can handle the schedule. I can handle scheduling. I can do it. I mean, if you don't want to do it here in that day, oh, we no, that's fine. I'm here anyway. I have work, so I'm here any. Might as well do this. I enjoy this. Okay. Um. So that is that's it. So we're continuing. Uh, any, three any, apple tree to. Uh, did I put over? Oh, I didn't. Oh my gosh. All right, I saw the top part there, and so they don't know. Uh, I'm going to need to do it. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what I wrote last time. Ah, I'll say the same thing. There you go. Really Watch me to repeat. That's a, that's a good term. We should use yes. more often. Yes. We'll find it this time. Let's find today. Uh, yeah, it's on the recommendation. It's 27,450. To four twenty two. Yes. Okay, that's good. Oh, that was good. So that's a three apple tree. <laughs> All right, everybody. We are on the last item of the day. Uh, if you're keeping score at home, number four on the agenda, five hillside street. And let me get to the old share screen here. Last time we were here, December 15th, 2021. Back then, we basically uh, kept the $500 fine that's on record. We kept that, let them know their max fine is $47,250 and continued it to today. So, um, hey, where'd my picture go? Yeah. Right there. So you got stuck to the bottom of that. There we go. There it is. So I noticed. But we so got for the formalities. Well, the formality for the return on appeal. Well, the homeowner came in and she stated that she is going to be planting grass in that area. When was that? Before or after the last year? It was actually the next day. After that hearing. All right, good. So she said that's, and it looks like I took a picture today. Not the best job, but it's getting there. There's grass in here, in here. You see on the photo, there's grass back here. So, in my conversation with the property owner, I must have had a really nice day back and it must have really been the holiday spirit. I said, I will try and convince the hearing officer to allow me to basically remand it back to me and follow the progress of this because once it becomes grass, by our definition of parking, they can park on there as long as it's grass, not a hard surface. So if this continues to become grass, I will, I can, reason, I can just have them come in one time to deal with that $500 fine. Uh, if they, 
finishing out the driveway with the driveway permit that they have from Public Works. Same deal, it'll be resolved. I can bring that back in. We can adjust the five hundred dollars if they do absolutely nothing for a period of time. The grass will grow. It will. The grass will grow. Okay, so so my suggestion would be it's not suggestion. There's nothing we can do. You didn't give them notice. No, but I would rather took I, over the authority. And I would. I just wanted to make sure that you were in agreement that I, it is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Well, I can't disagree that they should have been here. You didn't notice. They well, right, and I also why well, just make sure that you're aware that that's my attack that I would like to take because that's, to be completely honest, we have we have illegal apartments and illegal. I understand the little yard. grass growing, and it's only March. That's yeah. not even March yet. That's fine. Let's let it let it roll, and we'll see yeah, where I we are. The problem with your with what you're saying. So, so, but I don't have anything to sign because we don't no. have a hearing date. We don't have anything here. Today. All right. All right. So you just tell me why it's not on the agenda. Right. Exactly. Well, it it, it was on the agenda because it was there. For the, but it was yeah. there because I got it as right. a placeholder. And it, it was okay. There. So we're just leaving these people alone. We're gonna leave these guys alone. Let them let the grass grow. Let the grass grow and let them uh, get through what they need to get through. Okay. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, with that, that is the end of our hearings today. We will uh, reconvene on, let me just get a quick date to put on record here. The next hearing date that we have is March 16th. Let me make sure I have <laughs> I keep missing these hearings because they're so much fun. Oh, they're a blast. Keep watching. Worth the price of my calendar. There we go. We have the 16th and 30th is 16th, our next two. 23rd is no. Nope. So I'm taking that off. Take it off because I'm not I'm not even here. So okay. got to arrange it here. So. 30th is on. Yep. Wow, it's the last the end of March. Wow. So that's those are our next two, ladies and gentlemen. Have a lovely evening and enjoy the snow on Friday.